dear friends. We live in mad times, really mad times. I now think this pandemic is not really about a virus. It's about our societies, about the ways that we treat each other, about the ways that you and I live together, about the jungle of reality and the chaos in which it now has descended. Not that it was in harmony before, far from it, but it was all covered up much more nicely, at least for people like me, a white old guy that has seen much of life, has been a hippie, has seen the fall of the wall, the end of the Cold War, the end of so many predicted world endings, now to come into the pandemic. That in the beginning, we didn't think it would have these consequences. But now, what it led to is an outbreak of global madness, really. I don't think I have to make that case I think it, you're all aware of it. Everybody has opinions about everything, different opinions, all kinds of opinions. There is truth, half-truth, competing truth, scientists, priests, health workers, health alternative workers, and so endlessly on, everybody with a different opinion and a very good case to make. And it's so sad, really, because it is all chaos, really. There is a, an interesting way to look at it. In the kind of work that I've done a while ago, it was obvious that there is, before there can be something of a deeper harmony, a very deep harmony, in matter of fact, we must go through chaos. A chaos you cannot adjudicate in any kind of way. A chaos that you cannot steer in any kind of way. And the more intelligent the people are, the deeper the chaos is. Because the intelligent people, after all, know some of the complexities of life and are willing to defend their particular perspective on it. So what we really have is a chaos of perspectives, a chaos of views, a chaos of truth, of opinions, a chaos really of all the elites on the world. And since this is a time of deep crisis and real change, Everybody that has to lose something will defend it. Everybody who thinks they will need to hang on to this, that, or the other thing will defend it. And rightfully so. That's what evolution has taught us. There's nothing wrong. And everything is wrong. Nothing is wrong and everything is wrong. That's what chaos looks like. Just look around you, look in your family even, look among your friends. People are turning into very interesting beings at each other's throat often. What we witness is an uncovering of our deep disrespect for life and each other, for nature, and each other, for everything, really. We don't even respect ourselves. So we have a crisis of disrespect, of hardly any compassion, because, well, it's about me, about 
what I am going to lose, what I'm going to miss, what is going to happen to me. Well, yeah, maybe my neighbor, but really. There's a lack of decency, a lack of compassion, a lack of respect for each other. And there is no humility, because any decent person faced with the predicament of what we are faced with would be humble. I don't know. I don't know what is going to happen. I don't know what the solution is. I don't know what we all need to do. I don't know. And you keep telling me that you know? Mind you, I do have compassion, but I also have humor. And more and more and more, it makes me laugh. Let's all run this way. <laughs> yes, of course. Having a mouth covering is a sign of me losing freedom. Yeah, sure, of course. Uh, Having no mouse cover is not taking care of yourself and others. And so endlessly on. That's what madness looks like. That's what chaos looks like. Now, there's one story my father told me from the Second World War. He was a resistor and um, they were caught and they were actually in a in a place where uh, they were expecting to be hanged every day. And one of the prisoners, my father told me, was some baron, this, that, or the other, I don't remember. And um, when the food came, everybody was about to run towards it. And he said, wait, 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 let's at least die in decency. So he, from somewhere, brought a piece of white cloth, laid it on the floor, and asked everybody to sit down at this table and eat. And this story has impressed my father so much that it impressed me when he told it to me, and now I'm telling it to you. So let's take that as an example. Even when we may be going to die, even when we may be going to be arrested for being of a different opinion, even if we're going to curse the person next to us, let's remain decent. Let's remain civilized. Let's remain respectful. And if you can, remain compassionate about yourself, your friends, your family, the world, and everything. Thank you for listening.